Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 Episode 1 Thoughts. This episode is called The Ghost. Yeah, so happy to be watching the show again. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, love that we don't see Ghost Rider right away. The There's just this unseen force attacking these criminals, and it's appropriately bloody and violent, as Ghost Rider should be. One of the numerous problems with the Nick Cage Ghost Riders. Love that, you know, the, the, yeah, the guy thinks, oh, rocket, that'll, that'll stop, you know, fires off the thing, and he does hit, and, you know, like, the wheels catch fire, and the hood ornament, just, yeah, that was so badass, and, let's see, yeah, um, May is training people in fighting, and, like, apparently, you know, what, what was his mistake? He tapped out. Damn straight. <laughs> and... Let's see. The, yes, yeah, so we learn Daisy has been continuing to attack the watchdog, to track and attack the watchdogs, but she is thought by some to be a terrorist. And the one guy that did survive temporarily dies right in front of Daisy. Like, the, you know, he's in a hospital, so the doctors must have, you know, stitched up whatever wounds he had. Not enough. Ghost Rider, you know, he, what was it? He he wounds your soul, and his soul doesn't heal. So he bleeds out right in front of her. And, yeah, we learn about the framework and I like that the the two abbreviations are sadist and wimp and let's see then we have yeah some some great stuff you know Mac and ah let's see she doesn't like yo-yo so yeah Elena or wait did she I guess she accepted it by this point I'm still going with Elena just in case um yeah, you know the the apparently you know he's been he's been watching her, which is slightly creepy. And he's you know she she's like you could just ask me on another date. And let's see, yeah, kind of creepy. The more than kind of very creepy that Radcliffe has Ada naked. You know, it's it's one of those things like you didn't have to make like. Based on Fitz's reaction, apparently she's anatomically correct. You know, you could have just, like, Barbie doll that. Yeah. And. <laughs> Not what I meant. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's giving ex machina. And. Yeah, we learned that Elena and Quake are working together <laughs> orange supersedes red because orange has both red and yellow and yeah it's very clear like a lot of the agents really are not fans of these new rules that the new director who I don't we still don't know who the new director is by the end of this episode let's see I think, unless I missed it. Anyway, yeah, there may there's there's graffiti being made about Ghost Rider. Very cool, and uh, Colson's new hand can scan the inside of the truck. Hey, you want this? You cut off your own hand. <laughs> and yeah, so a lot of those. Let's see, it's right here. Um, Dodge Charger. A lot of them were destroyed for Dukes of Hazard and Fast and the Furious. Yeah, that's probably true. And yeah, Gemma and Melinda argue. And, you know, both are making, you know, really good points. And it's very interesting seeing Gemma be like the the dominant one of of the two usually it's it's been you know for for a while Gemma was really scared of me 
understandably. You know, she is a smart one. We know that. And... Let's see. Yeah, like a reference to Ultron as a, you know, we got to be careful with these, these robots. And, yeah, Fitz meets Ada properly. She's been fully rebooted. And, you know, she says she's she's there to protect. She's going to act as a decoy, but not to kill, but, yeah, to assist the agents. And, you know, Fitz is like, we cannot tell Simmons about this. She would have to tell the director. And, you know, we have to make... Yeah, we have to make sure that that Ada is is perfect before we. Yeah, and let's see. Then the um, yeah, yeah. The um, the criminals are are looking at the, you know, this this container, and they're like, you know, the guys in the truck died because they were fighting. They want a box. Apparently they don't want to wrestle. And yeah, Daisy meets Robbie. And I like that the the key thing is the, the giveaway. She's like, okay, that, you know, I heard that at the start of the episode. You know, that's his go-to move. He doesn't usually leave he he doesn't leave people alive that Ghost Rider judges should die. And it's very, you know, th yeah, this is probably the first time that he's been face-to-face -face with someone who witnessed one of these things. You know, that was the, the thing that the, the graffiti artist pointed out. People who see his face end up on this wall. And, let's see, yeah, the box is open and this, like, ghost thing, I guess, comes out. And they start attacking each other. And Robbie makes a fire sword to attack. That was really, really cool. I guess it's not technically a sword, but it functions as a sword. It's probably like rebar or something. And very clever with the thing. You know, she may, like, you know, does something with the, the tablet. And then it goes to the goggles. And everyone has it on the goggles. Very, very cool. And my god, that glorious Ghost Rider transformation. Like, holy crap. It's it's perfect. Like, no notes. Absolutely. Like, the way that the flesh goes away to reveal the skull. And just, yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the right balance of, like, you know, it's already, like, seeing a human skull is already pretty creepy, unsettling. It's something we don't really want to see. Because it reminds, you know, it's very Memento Mori. But it has that, like, there's a... I don't know how, how to describe, but you just, you look at that face and you do get a sense. This is, this is someone who judges. This is, you know, this is not a passive, like, you know, skulls are usually passive. That means someone's dead. And, yeah, you know, uh, Daisy feels that she does deserve to die. But, but Ghost Rider does not. He would easily have been able to, to kill her there. And I like the, the point about, you know, he he has killed people that she thought, you know, one of them was a detective. And, and you know, Ghost Rider's like, he had blood on his hands. One of them was a teacher. Pedophile, you know. These are things that, you know, sadly, that is, there are a lot of, of cops who have killed, you know, and... Some teachers are, sadly, pedophiles. Most of them aren't. You know, it's not like with Catholic priests. But some of them are. And... Let's see... You know, it doesn't mean you should go around suspecting every teacher. Just listen to kids if they say that there's been something inappropriate. And... Yeah, we see Fitzsimmons in bed, and, you know, Simmons is, like, hugging tightly, you know, getting very close, and Fitz is clearly uncomfortable about lying to her. And it's this thing of, you know, very frequently when a woman gets that close to a man, is that intimate with him, it's because she trusts him, and we know that he's lying to her. So that's a, 
yeah. Um, let's see. And we, yeah, we see Robbie's brother, who the credits on IMDb identify as Gabe. I'm not, what's that said? Well, maybe. Anyway. And, you know, yeah, we see clearly he's not, you know, it's not that, oh, you know, all he ever does is go around and kill people. No, he's, he's taking care of his brother, you know. And in the post credit scene, May sees a ghostly face on Coulson. So she has apparently been, like, infected by the thing that had, you know, the, the criminals attack each other. So, let's see, some IMDb trivia for this episode. Yeah, the, the, <clears throat> someone pointed out, you know, Robbie Reyes' version of Ghost Rider drives a Dodge Charger instead of a motorcycle. I gotta say, I'm, I'm most familiar with the, the one Nick Cage played, I'll have that momentarily. But it is, I, I do really appreciate getting a non-white Ghost Rider. And it definitely is the kind of, of character. Um, let's see. I mean, I guess with a name like Johnny Blaze, hypothetically could be. And, but yeah, the, the, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Um... The, the various ghost writers are Carter Slade, Johnny Blaze, Daniel Ketch, Alejandra Jones, and then Robbie Reyes. Yeah. Really glad we're getting a non white version. And let's see. Huh. When Yo Yo Rodriguez walks onto the for one for a check in, she greets Agent Davies by asking how his wife is doing. He answers, getting bigger every day. She scolds him, he changes to getting more beautiful every day. Maximilian Ozinski, who plays Davis, is married to Dijon Lackman, who played Jai Ying in season two and was pregnant at the time. So that might be, like, based on a true story. Let's see. S.H.I.E.L.D. is finally out of the shadows and has a new director because the public still thinks Coulson is dead. And, oh, the opening scene where Robbie Reyes' Chargers hit with an RPG, flips in the air, and lands on its wheels is a direct reference to all new Ghost Rider number two. So, yeah, it was very much a, yeah, you came to the right place. This is Ghost Rider. This is what you want. And, yeah, the first uh, reference to life model decoys, or LMDs, was in The Avengers, where Tony Stark attempted to avoid a video call from Coulson, claiming to be the LMD for Tony Stark. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, the effect of Ghost Rider and his flaming skull was imitated on set by Gabriel Luna, who plays Robbie and Ghost Rider wearing a hood fitted with flickering lights which could be adjusted to match different temperature fire for different situations the skull was then produced using CGI they were going to just cut all the skin off his face but he objected I 100% understand honestly that's that's a bit too far and let's see Right, and yeah, Ada the Android Robot is the first TV appearance of a long-time comic shield idea, the LMD. They've been used numerous times in the comics to explain things such as Nick Fury's apparent death, because nobody stays dead in comic books. And... Let's see... Then we have... Um, yeah, that is what i am got for this one, and yeah, um, I quite enjoyed, I believe this was, this was very early in the episode. Want a beer? It's six o'clock in the morning. What are you, Hemingway? <laughs>